Are you guys ready to get a little hot core? Well, let's talk about MAC's new lipstick that came out on Black Friday called Hot Core. And it is a true matte black lipstick, or so MAC says. So here is the lipstick itself. And it is said to have a matte formula. But I have to disagree slightly. I would say it's more of a satin because it doesn't have that matte, matte finish. Now I'm wearing it today and I have to say you do have to build it up a little bit. It's not like their typical um, lipsticks that they say are matte where you do one swipe and done. I would say maybe two swipes and done with this lipstick. Um, if you missed out on it, by the way, because it is a limited edition shade that they were just selling on Black Friday, but um, a lot of you noticed if you were signed up for their mobile alerts, they released it on Thanksgiving Day, not on Black Friday, like they said they were going to. So you may have missed it because of that. But fret not, on December 26th, it is being re-released with the Punk Couture Collection. So here's another up-close look at it. Now, um, I've seen some bloggers saying, well, you can line your lips with... Um, eyeliner. First of all, that's not safe because if you're using it on your lips and your eye, you can get contamination and who wants that? My suggestion to you is if you don't find you're getting a thin enough line when you try to line your lips, is take an eyeliner brush that you've cleaned, of course, and that you're going to designate for your lips or even a lip liner that has a lip liner brush that has a very stiff edge and just sweep at the side of the tube so that you can gather enough so that you can line your lips with the actual lipstick and then fill in your lips. Now I'm going to show you a hand swatch. So this is one swipe. Well, actually, wait, there's one swipe. Now as you can see, it gets darker as you go, but two swipes should be good for most people because your lips are more pigmented than the hand. Um, some of you may think, oh, well, it's a, it's a Halloween lipstick, I don't understand how it can be worn, it's a little too dark, how can you wear it for it to be socially acceptable? Well, it all depends on how you're doing your eye look, what your cheek look looks like, yeah, that's a thing. Your, your whole face, you have to imagine how your whole face is going to look when you put on this lipstick. But what are you going to wear with it if you're going out wearing all black? and you have the black lipstick on, you have a deep smoky eye, you might come off a little bit gothic, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if that's not your style, you're not going to like that. I would say if you want to wear a black lipstick, tone it down with more feminine shades. Today I decided to do really soft cheeks, really glowy. On my eyes I used a lot of the pinks from the Naked 3 palette, really feminine up the rest of the look, and I just kept a simple black shirt and um, a colored pair of jeans to, well it was pink, I used pink jeans to kind of pull the whole look together and still get that punk rock edge. And I would say don't go crazy with accessories either, but if you want to throw on a nice one little spiked uh, bracelet or a spike stud earring. I think that that would really pull together the whole uh, punk rock look, but still look very, very chic. Or if you're a goth and or you're into that culture or you're into that punk rock culture a little bit deeper. I used to be when I was a teenager, so I don't judge. And you were looking for a really great black lipstick from, say, you know, MAC, not just a drugstore black lipstick that you may or may not have been disappointed with. Um, you might want to pick up Hot Core when it comes out in the Punk Couture collection. Um, so don't go spending all your money if you see people selling it on eBay for ridiculous amounts of money. Um, what else can I say about it? It, like I said, it isn't too matte. It does have a sheen to it. It really, it's not as pigmented as their regular mattes. I wish this was a retro matte. Oh, um, but the good thing is it doesn't tug at your lips. It's not as drying, but it's also not too moisturizing, I guess. Um, overall, I would say that I think it's a great step out of the box. I'm glad that MAC included something a little bit different. Um, not that I didn't like gray fry. Friday last year, but um, I find Grey Friday a little bit hard to wear even though I like it. So um, are you going to step outside your box and get some black lipstick? Hot Core? Are you going to go get Hot Core? Uh, let me know in the comment section and be on the lookout for the Punk Couture collection the day after Christmas. I'm going to include lip swatches. Thank you so much for watching and please follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.